There's been a big misunderstanding about protein. We live in a society. Joking aside though, we are in this protein craze era. Protein boosted products everywhere, even products that already contain protein without being boosted with more protein are being boosted with more protein. And we're hearing about protein and the importance of protein all the time. Couple that up with the idea and the propaganda of the muscle building world of consuming one gram per pound of body weight of protein to make gains and recently finding out that actually consuming even more protein than 1.6 grams per kilo body weight is beneficial for muscle growth, things have been somewhat overstated. But let's go back a bit. For many years in our space, in the evidence-based lifting space, the rule was consuming roughly 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight seems to be more than enough to maximize your gains. However, more recent data shows that even if you consume more than that, up to around 2.2, 2.3 grams per kilo of body weight, you can still see and make more gains. Additionally, when cutting, we do have recent evidence showing that consuming more protein, even as high as three grams of protein per kilo of body weight, can actually help you maintain or even increase muscle while being in a deficit. That said though, this is the exact same scenario as with training volume. Yes, more volume equals more gains, but it's important to understand that there is diminishing returns and marginal gains do not really matter matter to most of you out there. Yes, if you are a natural bodybuilder who lives for the gym and lives to maximize muscle growth, doing your best to consume two grams of protein per kilo of body weight is a good maximization bet. And it mostly comes down to a matter of principle. If you're doing something and you're taking it seriously, might as well make sure that you're leaving no stone unturned so you can sleep well at night. But for the majority, for 99% of you out there, that's not really the case. And it's the exact same as with training volume. So with protein, the majority of the benefits that you're going to get from protein will come from eating 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilo of body weight. Sure, eating more than that may allow you to make even more gains, but it's not that eating below 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilo of body weight is you not making gains. If you're lifting weights, you are going to make gains even if you're not fully supporting those gains with a higher protein intake. This is the big protein misunderstanding. Even if you were to not pay any attention to your protein intake and just eat whatever you want to eat and maintain your weight or even slightly gain a bit of weight, if you're lifting weights, you will make gains even in the absence of the ideal protein intake or even if you don't hit those minimum um, optimization recommendations here and there at least. This is important to note because I do feel and I've had these chats in the past before with friends, with clients and so on and so forth, where clients would actually say, you've recommended that I only eat 1.8 grams of uh, protein per kilo of body weight per day, thinking that, okay, they're missing out on these insane gains if they don't eat a bit more than that. So please stop losing your mind about your protein intake. Do your best to consume mostly whole foods, eat protein with every meal, and it's very likely that you're fine. Sure, pay a bit more attention to your protein when cutting, when cutting or trying to recomp, but keep in mind that even in, during those periods, you are not in like a gains deficit if you're not consuming protein. As long as you're lifting consistently and you're training with a high intensity of effort, you are absolutely killing it and you're telling your body to grow muscle. And I hope this video is a big reassuring hug to many of you out there. Even at 1.2 grams per kilo of body weight per day, you are fine you're okay. Sure, on paper, you may be leaving some gains on the table, but you're not in a deficit. You're still making gains. Don't feel that unless you're absolutely killing it with your protein intake or unless your diet or culture allows you to consume a ton of protein, it's not worth committing to the gym. Focus on lifting the weight up and down, going to the gym, doing at least a handful of sets per week, and you are covered. That said, find a few foods that are easy to consume or even supplement with protein. Have a few meals here and there that are pretty high in protein and you're covered. The other important thing to remember is that things are super flexible when it comes to consuming protein. We now know that there's no upper limit to how much protein can be used for muscle building purposes, meaning that even if you were to have one big protein meal per day and not eat much protein for the rest of your day, you're most likely fine. You don't need to space out meals, time things, you don't need to do anything. If you are a part of the 99% of people out there who just want to get jacked, just do your your best to consume a solid amount of protein, have protein with each meal, or if you know that you're not able to eat protein during the day for whatever reason, have one big protein feeding and you're likely fine. Missing out on protein is not what will stop you from being jacked. It may not allow you to
to be as jacked as you are genetically predisposed to be, but it's not a big deal. And that's what I want you to leave with. It's not your protein intake that is stopping you from making gains. You're, most of you out there are very likely consuming 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilo per day. Anyways, what's keeping you from making gains is your unrealistic expectations and your consistency with the gym. Be consistent, lift consistently, and the rest is details, even protein. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out MyAdapt at MyAdapt.com, the smartest coach in your pocket, which will cover your protein needs as well. Magically, call Dr. Pack for a two-week free trial or DrPack.com to work directly with me. Thank you and peace. Things are flexible. Stop crying. Stop worrying.